used by buyer is very simple. It's a way that buyer can access breakthrough technologies that are going on across the world that impact human health as well as crop science. We've got a very different model in so much as we're using equity as a tool rather than operating expense, and we're building new companies in collaboration with third parties. But it's all about accessing breakthrough technologies for the well-being of society. Leaps by Bayer is actually 10 big ideas. Um, and these ideas are so big, if they finally work, they have the potential to fundamentally change the world. When you think about breakthrough innovation, you're thinking about things that are going to be truly disruptive in the world. And in a way, that's really important. Those are the things that make huge progress for us as mankind, as society. The initial 10 ideas for healthcare were all around how can we move from treatment to cure. It's really going back to the original idea of medicine. Once you're sick, you go to the doctor and then you are completely back in shape. And there's no chronic treatment necessary. Indeed, the idea was, on an empty piece of paper, what can we do in our responsibility leading in various um, therapeutic areas, also in agriculture, to address big ideas? And is that not actually even our responsibility? And that was the birth of saying, okay, let's more let get us 10 fundamental breakthrough ideas and get them into new speedboat companies, if you will, and let them just run by themselves. The big ideas are based on things that definitely will take us longer than five, six, perhaps even ten years to solve them. That's why we try on the scientific side to combine technologies as much as possible. What is normally out there pretty difficult because technologies are sometimes isolated by patterns that can't be combined. An activity like BioLeaps is really important because we're changing so dramatically as a society. I genuinely believe we're at the cusp of a biomedical revolution. So far we have five initiatives, Casibia, Blue Rock, a new microbiome company. We have licenses in, our, in ERS and we have a collaboration around uh, fast vaccination in animal health. First Venture Casibia really is looking at the amazing revolution that's happened in science, which is something called DNA editing using a particular technology called CRISPR-Cas. These are like molecular scissors. You can go in to the parts of the human genome, snip out bad bits and replace them with good bits. The second initiative was Blue Rock Therapeutics, a company entirely focused on induced pluripotent stem cells. So that's a new stem cell technology that allows us to use adult cells, not embryonic cells, to create a stem cell that can then further be developed in every tissue that we want to have. The latest one is a company that has no name yet. Um, it's a company that actually tries to address the negative side of chemical fertilizers through a microbiome approach. What means we try to have probiotic microbes that help plants to fertilize themselves. It's that bacterial ecosystem that exists both in human beings but also in the soil. And how can we use that to improve the health and well-being of plants. So the whole technology of modifying these microbes comes from Ginkgo Bioworks, whereas the complete business knowledge and the knowledge about microbes in plants comes from our crop science unit. So a very nice combination of two technologies that have not been combined so far. As we are in an area of very high risk, failure is essentially everywhere. The biggest risk is it won't work. We say in English, nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you don't try something, you'll never achieve something. So for us, yes, this is a risk that it doesn't work, but that's not a reason for not doing it. When you think of societal acceptance, it's absolutely key that we engage with society with these breakthrough technologies. These breakthrough technologies can provide huge opportunity, but they'll only be able to provide huge opportunities if they're accepted by society. And it's our responsibility as a company to begin that dialogue with society, with 
decision makers, with governments, with NGOs, and with people about what the potential is, what the potential risks are, and how the ultimate benefit can be provided. So I think societal engagement is going to be absolutely key as we move forward with these breakthrough technologies. Mm -hmm.